Hello, this is Rob Dunwood from SDM Software, and in this presentation we're going to demonstrate for you GPO Migrator. GPO Migrator is, exactly as the name implies, a utility that allows you to migrate GPO settings from one GPO to another GPO. You can actually merge into an existing GPO or you can create a new GPO right on the fly. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the demo. Okay, so the first thing that we want to show you about GPO Migrator is that it is a pretty simple and straightforward interface. One of the things that is most powerful about this utility is just its simplicity and the fact that it has a GUI interface. So we're just going to walk you through step by step how we actually do a GPO settings migration. So let's go ahead and choose our migration options. You're going to notice that we have the ability to migrate to a GPO. We have the ability to migrate to DSC, um, desired state configuration. Um, we can also migrate from GPO over reporting pack snapshot, which is really, really nice feature. And we'll show you that as we get into the demo. But first off, we're just going to do a live GPO. So we'll go ahead and click OK. You're going to notice that it gives us the ability to just select the name of the GPO that we would like to migrate. We also have a nice filter option here so we can type the name of that GPO in. So I've got a couple of password GPOs that I've created. I'm going to migrate to my password settings. We'll select that. You're going to notice that we have a settings tree here. We do not have to migrate the entire GPO. We can get specific down to the individual settings that we choose to bring across. So in my case, if I only want to bring across account policy information, I can just bring across password policy. I can bring across Kerberos policy. I can select just those options and add that to our migration. So we'll go ahead and click migrate. Now we have the ability to create a new GPO or select an existing GPO. Now we're going to create a new one, but I do want to show you the select existing GPO feature. So if you click that radio button, we then would be able to browse our environment and select a GPO that we want to push our settings into. In our case, we are going to create a brand new GPO. So we just have to give it a name. So I'm just going to call mine migrated password settings and click OK. So remember we selected specifically just account policy and Kerberos policy to bring across in our migration and we can see that these are the exact eight settings that we uh, have in our migration set. So all we need to do at this point is click our migrate button and we're going to see that those GPO settings have been pushed into a brand new GPO. So we go ahead and click OK close this out and now let's go take a look at GPMC and let's just see if we have anything new here so if we go to our group policy objects I should have a new GPO that starts with M migrated password settings and what you would notice is that the settings of this particular GPO are identical to the password policy settings that we had Oop, wrong button there window settings and security settings and if we were to go look at our account policies we're going to see that we actually have our pop you know things that are actually populated uh, based off of what we had in the GPO that we migrated from and we could very easily run a report in uh, GPO exporter to actually do a comparison report to see that these are actually identical so we did want to talk about migrating from a snapshot so I'm going to go ahead and close down GPMC and let's go back into our migrator. So this time, instead of migrating, uh, you know, to a GPO, we're going to migrate from. Excuse me, we're going to migrate, you know, to a GPO, but we're going to migrate from a reporting pack snapshot. So when we click this option, we have to actually go out and select where is our snapshot. So I created a snapshot earlier here in um, one of our other utilities, GPO exporter which is part of the GPL reporting pack from SDM software. And you're going to notice now that I'm a little bit limited on what I can bring across because we're not looking at live Active Directory. I'm looking at a snapshot of a GPO state that I took at some point previous to my migration now. 
this is a huge feature within this application essentially what it allows you to do is to create a snapshot of what you would like your GPO to look like in your environment you save that and then if there are ever any changes you can just migrate uh, the changes right back into uh, said GPO so we could come through here and I could select any of the policies that I would want to bring across and it's very granular once again but we are limited now to what is inside of my GPO snapshot we migrate same thing here in this case instead of going to um, a new GPO I want to go into an existing GPO so I can go through and browse I want to select Rob's policy and now I'm pushing GPO directly back into um, an existing GPO so I'm just going to overwrite existing options here we'll click OK we'll click migrate and we'll see that we've pushed a total of two settings back into our live GPO configuration state. So once again, we just wanted to give you a basic brief overview of GPO Migrator and just show you some of the power of what this tool can do. Honestly, it can save you hours, if not days, on restructuring and cleaning up group policy in your environment just because of the GUI interface and the ability to push settings from one GPO to another GPO or create a brand new GPO within your environment. This concludes our demonstration of GPO Migrator. If you head over to HTTPS, colon forward slash forward slash www.sdmsoftware.com you can download a free 14-day trial version of this software thank you